Hello, welcome to Martin Made. My name is Stephanie and today I'm going to show you what we do for my son's tours. Now, we decided when my son was two that he was going to have certain things that he was responsible for. We have been giving him allowance for those things over the past six months, maybe a year. And so I thought of what I'd do is I'd come on and I would show you what we do for him and what we've been doing the past six months to a year with him as he's been um, getting older and learning how to have more responsibility in the home. I don't want him to just be a bump on the log. And so I want him to learn how to take care of his things and how to um, take care of the home as well. And so I'm going to show you what we do for him and his tour chart and what, what we do in relation to his allowance as well. So. I'm going to show you that now. Okay, here is his chore chart. This is the chart that we made up ourselves. Um, we had it differently when we first started off, but as time has gone on, we figured out we need to add this and do this different and that different. I'm getting it wet, as you can see. Anyway, so what we've done is we take each day, we start started with Saturday because we have church on Sundays. And so it made it a little easier to have Friday as our day that we finish off his week of chores and go through and do his allowance and his savings and all that kind of stuff. So we had started it this way, but then as of late, I feel like we keep missing Thursdays or Fridays. So what I had thought the other day, I was telling my husband, I think we're going to start doing either his allowance on Mondays or Tuesdays. So that would be at the very end of the chart, Monday or Tuesday. It just makes it easier to keep track of and we don't have to worry about getting into the weekend and forgetting about his, um, his stickers and all that. So here we are on Saturday and as you can see, he has different things that have to be done each and every day. He makes his bed, he brushes his own teeth, he eat, has to eat all of his food for that day, he has to have his room clean by the end of the day. His job is to make sure all the boots and the shoes are straightened up at the front door he gets his teeth brushed by mommy and daddy um, here and then he also has to help with the dishes in some way so that's putting his dishes in the sink or setting the table or pulling the dishes from the dishwasher and helping put them away now as you can see he has finished all these days here we have a couple different stickers because we ran out of the bear stickers and we're trying to get rid of some of our random stickers laying around. So he has finished all of his main chores all week. He also on Mondays pulls the recycling out from under the sink and he takes that to the garage with his daddy. And then on Tuesday evenings, he will take the garbage out to the garage as well with daddy. Now we do this here because our garbage gets picked up on Wednesdays. So then all the garbage and recycling is out at the garage, ready to go out to the road um, on Wednesday morning. So then on Thursdays is the day that he needs to clean the playroom. 
the playroom is the one room that I do not care if it's dirty from head to toe. And the reason I say that is because on Thursdays is his day to clean. So he can either keep that playroom clean the whole day and week and whatever, or he can leave it and he can um, clean it all on Thursday. It's his choice. I let him figure out that the longer you let it go dirty, the more you're going to have to do on the day that it is to clean. Gives him a lesson in keeping things clean. Anyway, so this is Friday and we will do his stickers. He has already made his bed, his teeth. He's eaten all his food so far. His room is clean. The boots are straightened. We need to brush his teeth and he's already helped with some dishes today. So for the most part, he should get all of his stuff in today. Um, but here's what we do. He has this jar of coins. Now these are mommy and daddy's extra coins. We have our loonies, toonies, and, or no, quarters, dimes, and nickels in there. And so what we do is we have each day he gets one quarter for finishing that day. So we have a dollar seventy-five that gets put into his jar. And at the end of the week, we will pull out that dollar seventy-five. If he didn't finish one of the days, then we take out that many coins and he doesn't get those. Those go back in the jar and he can try to get them next week. So then what we do is we take our allowance that he has gotten, say he gets $1.50, um, we take out 10% for his tithe of the, the amount that he's made. And then he also takes out his five cents. He gives five cents every week to missionaries um, that are overseas or in Canada or around the world somewhere. Um, our church supports lots of missionaries. And so he gives five cents every single Sunday to the missionaries to help them um, do what they need to do on the mission field and take care of them as well as the people they're helping. So that is how we do his allowance. Then whatever is left, we put about 25 to 50% of that into his savings, usually about 50. And then the rest goes in his piggy bank that he has for spending. And so that's how we do his allowance um, each and every week. And he absolutely loves us because he gets, he gets money and he's already saved up and gotten one thing. So we're working on saving up for stuff and learning how to manage his money as well as keep the home clean and learn how to um, do things just like the playroom. Do it either once a week and leave all the mess there or just keep up on it all throughout the week and it's a lot easier. Just things like that. We just want to teach him character and um, teach him how to, to manage money and his time and a house. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I know when we were trying to figure out what do we have a three-year-old doing around the house? It was kind of like, okay, let's just make something up and see how it goes. If something's on there that he can't seem to do, then we'll take it off. And some of it is on us. We have to help him with some of the things or just remind him of some of the things. So some of it is we have to do some of that work, but eventually he will be able to know, okay, every day I have to do these things. If I get them done, I can have allowance. And as he gets older, we'll raise his allowance. But just to start off with, we're just trying to get him used to what money does and how we can use it smartly. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And for those who are new to this channel, please hit that red subscribe button. And there's a little bell off to one side. You can hit that little bell and you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Um, tell me of some videos that you would enjoy seeing and I will try my best to do some videos on those things. Um, just let me know what you think 
and I appreciate all of you that have stuck with me over the years. I've only been doing YouTube for a couple years now. I really enjoy it and I'm so glad I've been doing it. But I also want to get some feedback from some of you and maybe some things that you enjoy, some things that aren't as interesting to you that I've been doing lately or in the past. Just let me know. And I can't wait to hear from you down there in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.